Okay, Taurus, here we go. Let's see what March 8th through the 14th is looking like for the Tauruses. Okay, first one out. We got your, your subject matter is the Six of Wands. It's going to be some sort of victory, or at least there, that's what you're hoping for this week. Uh, you've taken some sort of action. You're looking for a win in a situation, but it's a humble victory, not just for you, but one to be shared for all. There was a risk taken, though, in it. So let's see what the challenge is in relation to this here for Taurus for March 8th through the 14th. And hey, guys, if you don't know who I am, my name is Rachel Stebbins Navy, a.k.a. Vladio Strega, where you can follow me on Facebook. All my information is either in the description below or the About section of my channel. Keep in mind, this is a general reading. It will not resonate for everyone, so keep what does and leave the rest here, Taurus. Let's see about that challenge now. Oh, almost. So what's, what's the challenge for Taurus? in relation to the Six of Wands energy for the week. Hi. Hello, Icarus. As you can see, Icarus the African Grey is joining me this evening, too. Now, I've got two of these, so let me just see which one. Okay. Okay. Uh, real clear here, Taurus. Uh, the Seven of Wands, which is the next step up here in the in the line here of your day-to-day -day journey, is the card that's representing your challenge. So there's a need to stand up for yourself in a situation. Perhaps that is what uh, this victory is about, is you are standing in your power, especially in the face of opposition. You are uh, negotiating something, or there's a negotiation of sorts happening, and you are standing up for yourself, standing your ground. That's the challenge for it all. Your hopes are this lovely eight of pentacles. You've been working hard. You've mastered something. Uh, you've, you've perfected something perhaps. Maybe there's an art form to what you're doing, but this is someone who masters their skilled trade or craft, uh, Taurus, and they, and they see the rewards because they've They've done it so much so often. Now, sometimes people can get a little hasty with this, with this kind of, not hasty, but they get a little, uh, they get used to doing it for a period of time. So they might have a few slip ups here and there, a mistake here and there. But overall, you're looking to see the rewards of all that hard work you've done, all that, that beautiful energy you've put into your craftsmanship, your labor, your work, whatever it is. Uh, time even. Uh, you want to see that pay off for yourself. And it's going to get loud here for a moment because I have somebody dropping off a package here on my porch amidst the duck parade. So we'll see what happens next. Distant past, you got three of swords energy. So may have been a heartbreak driving all of this. Uh, more recent past, you've got the, the nine of pentacles. So self-reliant uh, with that. We'll come back to those in just a minute. And the future, of course, is your ideal lover card, uh, Taurus, with the Knight of Cups. So, distant past. And we're talking months, years, whatever it was uh, here down the road. There was a breakup of sorts. There may have been a third-party relationship involved. But you yourself, some of you, Taurus, uh, you have the energy of, of loss. You were grieving something. And here you go, buddy. You want, you want another sunflower seed? There you go. I can see you looking bored. Uh, and it was, you recognized that you needed to let go of something. You, when you let go, though, here was when the abundance came in. You may have gone through some hard times just to get here, Taurus, but you did become self-reliant. You did, you did successfully uh, manage your time right, do what you needed to do to create a space for yourself that was comfort, that was... Uh, easement for you and a place to call home uh along the way though you've because you've manifested this for yourself right your energy's changed again you've put in that hard work there's a situation where like okay i i want the success i want the victory here i i love what i do or i'm passionate about something and and now here it is okay i'm going to stand up for myself in a situation and that is bringing you this lovely individual right here so if this is not a relationship reading. This is simply a Taurus who is in becoming more emotionally satisfied. Uh, they've had some experience in the emotional seas of life so far, and now their energy is kind of evening out. Uh, they... They're, they're balanced is what it really is. This is about balance and harmony. 
the Knight of Cups energy. He's he's very uh, giving. He's very generous. He's very sweet. That's why I call him the ideal lover is because he's not dramatic about anything. He really just wants to enjoy life, share that enjoyment with others, and looks forward to, to the new and the wondrous things in life. Uh, and he, he really offers a sense of emotional stability. So if that's not you uh, personally, Taurus, that could be someone else uh, you're dealing with here in the near future. Especially coming from a place where it looks like there was a breakup in a relationship and, and you becoming more self-reliant. Your energy is your energy's right, so when you're able to uh, manifest things for yourself and, and have your own good energy about things, that's when more, more good things come. I'm going to grab the last four here and see what's on the bottom of the deck for you, Taurus. Amen. there's going to be a package at the door here in a moment. Pardon me. Uh, uh, there's going to be a package here at the door in just a moment if you want to keep an eye out for it. Okay. All right, Taurus. Some other stuff going on, though. Bottom of the deck. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Manifesting. There's your magician card energy, right? You have all the tools you need to manifest what it is you're hoping for. But let me get back to him or her in just a moment because here's your attitude about it all. You're like, okay, here it is. Here's life. Spring's on its way. I'm full of vitality. I'm full of passion and desire. I'm moving forward in the direction of what it is I want to create, what it is I want to do. Uh, something you, you, you're, you're creating some sort of entrepreneurship, enterprise, something along those lines. This is where, why that whole Hopes, the, that hard work and the payoff that's what that's what you're working towards you maybe you want to start a business Taurus maybe you've got a product you want to launch something along those lines but you your your attitude is I'm going for it uh, Queen Queen of Wands energy is that beautiful that uh, sometimes humble uh, very charismatic though in a way very very physically beautiful if you're dealing with somebody who's uh, got a lot of physical beauty to them and and she's got that sexual heat she's very witty she's very smart uh, she is a queen so she's mastered many of her attributes here uh, and which is what you're you're hoping to achieve how do others see you they're celebrating for you Taurus they're celebrating with you they're celebrating for you this is your external influence so there could be pledging uh, out of some sort of negotiation as we were seeing with the seven of seven of wands there there could be like a, a commitment to something you know uh, in relation to an emotional offer uh, but people are celebrating you people are enjoying your energy and sharing that love and that good vibe with you especially this week because that's what the energy for the reading is for uh, what's your inner emotions yeah you want that stability okay this is this is my my uh, page of excuse me my king of pentacles king of pentacles is a very gracious king he's very well grounded uh, this is how your internal emotions for many of you are going to be this week you're going to be very grounded you're going to be very practical minded uh, you're going to likely uh, be setting things up for safety and security for the future a lot of abundance coming for in for you guys this week both emotionally financially uh, it's all pentacles and cups out and those wands are your actions you're taking to, to achieve this. This is what your heart desires along with this eight of pentacles here. Uh, the payoff, the rewards of your hard work, your hard labor and that whatever it is you produce. Uh, this is your time. Having enough time, time managed well. Uh, he himself, he's not a man of words. The King of Pentacles is not. If you're dealing with somebody's and somebody else's energy, uh, he's he's kind of a strong, silent type. I would call him. But he, when he does speak, boy, does he have a story to tell. There's something more. There's a lot of wisdom when the King of Pentacles is out, and, you're, and perhaps that wisdom is how he obtains his abundance. He he observes things he quietly observes so that when, when he does speak the timing's right and what he has to say is very very important um, your you may find though because this is your potential outcome you may find though uh, this week that there may be somebody in your environment 
uh, perhaps some of you Tauruses that, that is being a little bit greedy, a little bit deceptive, maybe taking more than they deserved or earned uh, in a situation, or it could be you yourself. This is trickster energy around you. So trickster energy, of course, teaches us to laugh at ourselves, but sometimes it's at an expense of ourselves. So you have to be careful with this. This is like a little warning, like, hey, watch out that somebody doesn't underdog you. Uh, somebody doesn't underpay you. Somebody doesn't go behind your back and, and, and steal from you. Uh, along those lines, someone doesn't lie to you. Got to watch out for lies. Um, in relation to all of this. Now, I Snow, you're going to stay out for a minute, kiddo. So, so I have the magician card energy, right? I was talking about all those tools it takes. He's holding the candle so we know something's being illuminated. He has knowledge. He's got the laurel wreath on his head, the crown of mastery. There's roses in there signifying a rebirth, purity of a situation. Uh, there is all the tools this magician needs to manifest what it is they want. We are we manifest things ourselves. We have our energy. Usually there's a, a eternity symbol above his head in many depictions. That's energy that cannot be broken. So we're, we're always creating, whether it's positive or negative, uh, Taurus, we're always creating. You got the next major arcana out. See, here's where the major arcanas are coming out. This is what we've already seen in the Celtic to cross. That's your day-to-day -day stuff. Now let's get to the meat of it. Let's get to the heart of things here. There may be a moment of pause as well, because you may be going through some sort of spiritual awakening this week for many of you. Are they starting it or being in the, in the middle of it or coming to a close of it? Either way, Taurus, uh, you're being asked to pause on, some of you are being asked to pause in some sort of situation where you need a change of perspective. Uh, you need to be illuminated on something, Taurus. This is the divine stepping in and saying, okay, wait a minute, your hands are tied for a moment. You can't have any forward movement with anything until you are able to see something for what it is or change your own perspective of, perspective of things. And of course, connect with the divine on this. That's why that halo is there representing. You may have gotten bored with something emotionally uh, here along the way. You were looking at these cups like, ho oh, hum, I've seen this all before. It's not as satisfying as it used to be. But you may have been so focused or you may be so focused on on what all this emotional stuff is over here that you don't see the new emotional thing being offered to you. You don't necessarily see the new opportunity, the new uh, chance for peace of mind, tranquility, or love, uh, compassion uh, being offered to you. So be mindful of that as well. You know, some of you could be dealing with Queen of Swords energy. Hmm. Uh, Queen of Swords, of course, is... Uh, uh, she is very uh, cold at times. She's no stranger to sorrow, though. She's no stranger to loss. Uh, so in that regard, she she's very wise. She carries with her a lot of wisdom, Taurus. She carries with her a strong sense of pride. Um, but she's not afraid to go Red Queen and kind of take your head off either. Uh, if you're not... If this isn't your energy, it could be the energy of someone uh, over the age of 35, perhaps a feminine energy that you are dealing with. Uh, keep in mind that she is a master manipulator. She can talk uh, very well. She's very, very intelligible, very intellectual, uh, and again, carries a lot of wisdom with her. So, so approach her cautiously uh, is what I would say, but she does come with her own benefits and, as well. Uh, one more. Yeah, there it is. That's money's coming in slowly, right? This is either the money or the new relationship. Uh, I love the Knight of Pentacles energy because he lets go of his ego. There's no, there's no mind games. It's stable. It's constant. He's cautious. He's practical. He comes with his own money. Uh, he makes good moves and he makes decisions that are for the benefit of everyone, not just himself. So he's really community oriented, really family oriented. Uh, very financially savvy. He's just slow going. So if this is directly your income or your finance on a situation like that eight of pentacles I was talking about earlier, Taurus, because you are an earth sign, this is that money coming in. It's just coming in a little bit slowly. Same thing with that relationship. It's taking its time. So there you have it. I'm going to pull. Thanks, Icarus. I'm going to pull a pull an archangel card for you. See what else spirit wants you to know. 
And then I'm going to call it Tarot in the Dark and finish up a couple more readings along the way. Hey, guys, don't forget to leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think. I do appreciate it so much. And always, don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's see what else there is for you, Taurus. What else does Spirit want Taurus to know? There it is. Thank you. Victory! Yay! That's what I like to see. It says, your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. Blessed be, Taurus. Have faith. I like that. I like that. And I think victory, nice, Icarus. I think victory is at hand for many of you. I definitely feel that. Here we go. Goddess messages. What do we get with that? We've got sorceress. Same as the magician. Uh, you are a magical person who can manifest. There it is. Your clear intentions into reality. Taurus, take a moment after watching this. Take a deep breath and really dig deep. What is it that I want to manifest? What are my goals? What are my intentions? And let that energy ride. Just feel good about it. Feel, feel it out. Visualize it happening for you. I know it's going to happen. It's going to start this week, Taurus. I wish you the best. Take care.